Significant progress has been made in the assembly of the first Tejas Mark II aircraft, that includes validation of the flight control software for the program, and latest reports indicate that the first rollout will happen in January 2023. The Tejas Mark II will start low-speed and high-speed taxi trials in August 2023, and the first flight might take place by December 2024. HAL plans to manufacture five Tejas Mark II aircraft, that will be exclusively used for flight and developmental trials, before it is cleared for production in 2029. The fabrication of serrated panels for AMCA 5.5 generation aircraft has started, that will be used in different types of openings and doors, like maintenance access panel and hydraulic system ports on the aircraft and helps to reduce the radar cross-section. The serrated panels will be fabricated by October 2022, after which it will start radar cross-section testing. When serrated panels are attached to the trailing edge of the aircraft, there is a significant improvement in the lift and drag characteristics. In a significant development, the self-propelled air defense gun missile system will now be developed under the Make in India initiative and the DRDO is in talks with the Indian Army to discuss the requirements, and is planning to offer an indigenous system based on the DRDO Larsen and Tubro light tank platform. The 30-ton self-propelled air defense gun missile system will have four 30mm dual barrel auto cannon as its main armament, along with DRDO's manned portable defensive missile system as its secondary armament, and will also feature a 3D radar with the capability of detecting small targets such as drones. The rollout of a prototype of the light tank will take place in June 2023, and the self-propelled air defense gun missile system prototype development might start soon after. The Indian Army has plans to procure 104 units initially, but the order will grow later. Construction work on the site of the Brahmos NG Missile Manufacturing Center and a DRDO lab is in full swing in Lucknow. This facility will be made operational by end of 2024, and 100 Brahmos NG missiles will be manufactured at this unit every year. The UP government has allocated 200 acres land for the Brahmos project, and 22 acres for the DRDO lab, and nearly 200 workers are working at the construction site. The Brahmos NG will hugely bolster the Indian military's modern combat capability, and several countries have also expressed interest in procuring the next generation missile for their fighter jets and warships. Vayu Aerospace has released a picture of the Astra air-to-air -air missile, that shows that two expand data link antennas integrated on the Astra missile launcher. After the launch of the Astra Mark 1 missile, the two data link antennas is used to establish bi-directional data link between the Su-30 aircraft and the Astra missile. The two-way data links also mean that the target information can also be provided by another aircraft or an OAX platform. The Director General of Indian Coast Guard has inaugurated a new hoverport, that will support berthing and maintenance of hovercraft that will provide faster turnaround time for operations. The Coast Guard operates 18 Griffin class hovercraft, which is a twin-engine fully amphibious hovercraft, that has a speed of 99 km per hour, making it suitable for high-speed patrolling in coastal shallow waters, marshy areas, creeks as well as deep seas. The Indian Army has started the Army Commanders Conference from today, during which the top commanders will carry out an extensive review of India's national security challenges along the borders with China and Pakistan, and assess any possible geopolitical implication of the current situation in Eastern Europe. The commanders will also focus on specific plans for capability development, border infrastructure development, boosting operational preparedness, modernization through indigenization and induction of niche technologies.